Oh, man, I'm not crazy like that Alex Jones. You know, he gets mad that the U.N. says they're going to shut off our resources to destroy our society. <laughs> I'm not worried about my society being destroyed and being turned into a third world slave. That's no big deal. Man, that guy's... Oh, that Alex Jones has read all these government textbooks and documents like EcoScience, where they admit they want to and are spiking the water with sterilants and chemicals that brain damage us. Man, that Alex Jones, he gets mad at being brain damaged. He's some, I mean, folks, I am normal. You are weird. If you're a new listener and you think I'm weird, you got the problem. You got me? If I ran up to a cop at a Burger King and he comes out of the bathroom and he catches me with a packet putting something in his drink, and he comes over and grabs me, and they arrest me, and they test what's in the packet, and it's lithium, a toxic metal. Am I going to go to prison for attempted murder because it, 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 it could kill you if it was enough of a dose? Would I at least get uh, you know, a poisoning charge? I'd probably spend 10, 15, 20 years in prison. The government admittedly is poisoning your water supply with over 150 chemicals they add. They add. And we just sit here and take it. You know why you take it? Because you're on lithium, folks. You're on sodium fluoride that has the same effect. You're on mercury that has the same effect. Do you understand? You have been brain damaged. That's why all the neurological disorders are off the charts. Most of them are up 200, 300, 400, 500. Some are up 10,000 percent. Now they're telling you, oh, you can get Alzheimer's when you're 25. They scan the brains. They're full of lithium and aluminum. I, I don't like having the opposite of a brain boost. I don't like people poisoning me. Now, and then I'm going to your calls. It's another example of this. If I came to your door and said, I'd like to put cameras in your house to watch everything you do. You'd say, get off my porch, you nut. You'd slam the door on me. And if I didn't leave, you'd call the police on me or go get a shotgun. Google comes out four years ago and says, we've got a patent and we're testing it now and we're using it on people. Computers have built-in cameras and microphones. We're listening to everything you do in your home. If a dog barks, we then sell your name to distributors to send you dog food ads in the mail. We pop up dog food ads and dog toy ads. This was their example. And, and we know what sitcoms you're watching. But they said, don't worry, a human isn't listening. A computer creates a text file of all the noises in your house. And then... And then and, then we build a psychological algorithm. You got the cameras and the microphones in your house watching and listening to you. It's like I told people in 1996, 12 years ago, 13 years ago. Like, where is my cell phone? I thought I had that. Somebody bring me a cell phone. Just I just want to show people. I mean, it's on record that the government designed them by law, where the manufacturers make them, where even when the phone's off, they can dial in and listen to you and track your location. And I'd be called a kook, I'd be called a nut, I'd be called an idiot. When I had the documents, now it's all over the news, but they tell you how good it is. You're having it introduced to you that you're a slave and you're property of the system and that this is just the way it is. Yeah, we got face scanning cameras tracking you everywhere. Yeah, we got license plate readers tracking you. I'd tell people that 14 years ago and get laughed at. You better stop laughing. If you think it's funny that the entire society is being geared to surveil and control and track you and know who you really are, you think you're trying to get a job as a cop or something and they give you some 600-question psychological meant to catch you in lies, you think that's a detailed psychological? How about the millions of choices you make a year playing Xbox and PlayStation Interactive tied into those big computer hubs? in the group gaming? What about all your cell phone calls and what you visit? What about all the websites you go to? What about the digital cable and TiVo tracking everything you watch, everything you do on record for at least eight years, chronicling it? I would tell people, because I was told this by a Time Warner technician who was a fan, 
at my house over 10 years ago. He said, let me show you the manual. He said, this has got a microphone. This is a two-way cable. Everything you're doing is being recorded, and if they want, they can activate that microphone. And I had people call in and threaten me on air. On my Access TV show on Time Warner in Austin, I had I had Time Warner during those new, during those casts would just cut my show off. And then I talked to people at playback who were there when they would get calls at mission at, at, at playback control saying, turn that live show off. See, they didn't want you to know in 1997 or 98, man, time flies, that everything was being watched and tracked. Now they just go, yeah, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, everything. See, folks, it's total control. So, see, that's why they don't care if Alex Jones and Jesse Ventura go on television and tell you something because they think you're chumps. They think you're a joke. They think you're idiots. They know it's known that they're putting stuff in the water because you're drugged. And the evidence is they're now increasing the amount of drugs they're putting in the water. They're, 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 they're doing psychological tests. They're increasing the drugs and making the announcements of what they're doing. You're being drugged with toxic chemicals. Do you like it? Do you enjoy it? Can't you intellectually, even if you emotionally can't get angry at this, can't you intellectually stop drinking tap water? Stop eating the highly processed foods with corn syrup. Don't you care enough to stop giving your kids Coca-Cola and all the stuff that's hurting them? But no, see, you're, you're at ease from the lithium and fluoride. You're like, yeah, I understand you're saying I'm being poisoned, but give me, give me a Coke with, with, with fluoride. You know, give me a Coke with mercury. You know, give me that Coke with corn syrup that has the mercury in it. Give me a Pepsi. Give me an aspartame bubble gum. I just, I understand, Alex, you're telling me they're hurting me, but I just, I just don't care. Because not only are you been drugged, You've been programmed by TV and all the messages to lay down, to be at ease, that everything's entertainment, that everything's fine, that everything's fun. We're going to come back, go to your phone calls and cover news for a full hour. And we've got two guests joining us from Copenhagen.